بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو دا پی ایل تھری ہنڈریڈ ایگزام پریپریشن سیریز ویئر وی آر ایکسپلورنگ دا تھرڈ لرننگ پیتھ ویژولائز اینڈ اینالائز دا ڈیٹا ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ایکسپلور دا ٹاپک اپلائی سارٹنگ وچ از پارٹ آف دا سیکشن انہینس رپورٹس فار یوزیبلٹی اینڈ اسٹوری ٹیلنگ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو سی ہاؤ دا سارٹنگ کین بی ڈن ان اے کپل آف ویژولائزیشنس so the process is inherently the same for all the visuals but you need to just keep in mind a few things that we are going to discuss so let's go to the power bi desktop environment and see how sorting can be done so here i am inside the power bi desktop environment and i have created a sim simple table visuals table visual with two fields with first one is the month name and the other one is the total cost so the month name column is obviously with the names of the months is obviously is going to be a text column and which is obviously a, a categorical column and the total cost measure is obviously showing values which are numbers so if we want to do the sorting of this visualization there are two options so we can either do the sorting by the month name or we can do the sorting by the total cost so one option is let's see how we can do it by the total cost so one option is that if i just come and click here you are going to see that the numbers have now been sorted in the ascending order similarly if i click here again then you can see that the sorting is now being done in the descending order so this is the only option available for any number so either you can sort it in the ascending order or the descending order now if i come here on the month name option and if i apply the same rule that i applied on the total cost here you see that again the sorting is being done but now because this is a categorical or a text column so the sorting has been done in the alphabetical order so we have a uh, on the top and we have the last uh, uh, alphabet in terms of the sorting if you if you go from a to z which is september similarly if i click here again then i see that this is now the reverse order where september is on the top and april is on the bottom this process you can also do by clicking on these three op dots here and here you can come and you can select the sort sort order and also you can select the sorting column so if i if you select month name then obviously the sorting would be applied or the sort order would be applied on applied on month name if you select the total cost then the sorting would be applied on the total cost so these are the only op options which which are there to actually sort your data we have already seen another example where we have seen in one of the earlier videos that you can use another column so in, in case you have a text based column you can use an other column and use it as a sort by column so if you have some kind of a column here like a month number then you can actually use the month name and you can use the sort by option to actually do the sorting so as we have already covered it so i am not going to cover it cover here again so this is the only method through which you can do the sorting so if i just go and convert this visual into a bar chart so let's say if i have a bar chart like this then again the sorting options are again the kind of the same so right now it is sorting in terms of the cost and it is sorting in the descending order so that is why you see the highest cost value so if i change it here to an ascending value then you are going to see the sorting being changed to an ascending value similarly if i just go and do the sorting by the month name which is alphabetical then you are going to see the sorting done uh, in another way so this is how the sorting is done for all the visualizations and these are the areas through which you can uh, do the sorting on the on the visual so this is the preferred option that you come and click on the on these three dots and then you can do the sorting so that was all about the application of sorting on the visuals so i'll catch up with you in the next video